Safe Center. Hi. Um, I, uh, I, uh, think I got raped last night. Safe Center, this is Margarita. Yeah, hi. Um, I, I need some help. Um, I think my girlfriend could, could be socking me. Um, I was probably 19, 20 years old when we started dating. Physical abuse started very early in our relationship and way before we got married or anything, but I think he had me so convinced that if I didn't have him, I wouldn't have anybody, so I put up with a lot of, a lot of things. You hear stories about um, abused women wearing, you know, long sleeve shirts in the summertime and stuff. I did that. I covered bruises up. I know people had to know. He was supposed to not be drinking anymore, and he came home from wherever he was, and um, the girls and I were just laying on the floor in the living room watching TV, and he's, he like knelt over me and started picking at me and said, what's the matter, what's the matter, are you afraid, are you scared, what's the matter? I'm like this, if he's gonna kill me, it's gonna be now. When my friend told me about the safe center and I, and I went and made the appointment, they gave me the little Breaking the Silence book, it's like my journal. <laughs> I mean, everything in that was just exactly what was going on with me. You know, if I think back and in, in where I would be or where my children and I would be um, if we weren't referred to the Safe Center, I would probably say I'd be dead and they would be... I have no idea. I don't even want to know, frankly. The thought of that makes me sick to my stomach. But, um... I think you're always a survivor, no matter what, you know. Even 15 years later, I'm, you know, I'm still a survivor. I don't talk about it as much anymore. The Safe Center, from where I was, being very codependent, very um, unsure of myself and those kinds of things, to, to learning about myself, maybe admitting some things I didn't really want to admit about myself, to being where I am now, where I can look back on it and say, you know, even though that was a bad time in my life, that was probably one of the best times in my life, and it, it really defined where my life has gone since then. And I, uh, I definitely think that my children and, and I are, we are today, and probably still alive and still, you know, surviving, I guess, um, because we read the Breaking the Silence book. You know, we got involved in the station. I was abused by my ex-wife 15 out of 20 years of our marriage. Every day she verbally attacked me in front of my two children. If I stood up to her, the abuse would last longer and she would become physically violent. I was advised by several attorneys that if I divorced her, even though she was mentally ill, she would get custody of our children. I couldn't let that happen and I didn't want to abandon my kids. Late at night while I was at work, my wife would lash out physically at my 10-year-old daughter. I was afraid of what would happen next. Finally, I decided to seek help. After talking to law enforcement, I was referred to the safe center. The abuse took a toll on our family. The kids didn't have any friends because they didn't want them to know what was going on at home. She controlled everything. Sometimes she would spend all the family's money. She blamed this on me, saying a real man would provide, and that the way we lived reflected on me. It was an ongoing challenge to figure out how to provide for the family while she racked up credit card bills before I even got a paycheck. The Safe Center provided my children and I with a safe place to stay while my wife got the help that she needed. It was a safe place for me to get away for a couple of days to clear my mind. It was hard for me to have others look at me as less of a man, but I did what I had to do to be a responsible father. There are many more resources available today than I had. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Ultimately. You determine the outcome of your life. Steps you can take now to stop domestic and sexual violence. Call law enforcement if you see or hear violence in progress. Volunteer your time to help with direct services, outreach efforts, or events. Cultivate a respectful attitude toward women and children. Services provided by the Safe Center include 24-hour crisis support, emergency shelter, support groups for women and children, public education presentations, protection order advocacy, 
information and referrals for counseling, housing, legal alternatives, emergency assistance, and much more. All services are free and confidential. For more information on what you can do to support the Safe Center, visit us online at www.safecenter.org. You can make a difference in your community.